So this rapper, female rapper, made up a, uh, a tweet. And in her tweet, she said, a lot of y'all ends are just meant to be a fun end. That's it. Meaning I can have a blast with you, but you not boyfriend material. Like we can't be in a relationship, but we can link, take trips, etc. Until I find my, my man to settle down with. LOL. Okay. Then somebody responded and said, this is me as F. LOL. I definitely have my fun, but none of them ends be boyfriend material for me. Just having fun until the right one comes. Now, I wasn't going to say nothing. Okay. I wasn't going to say nothing when I saw this post. But when I went into the comment section, it was full of scallywags. <laughs> it was full of scallywags talking about, I don't see the problem with this. You know, this is just dating. And, you know, if men could do it, we could do it too. There's no problem. You know, what is the problem with this? Y'all just be hating on women. Let me tell you something, okay? The problem is women are trying so hard to be men that they don't realize that there is a vast difference between somebody who is getting dug out and somebody who is the digger. I don't know how else to say it. Let me say it one more time. Okay. There is a strong difference of somebody who is getting dug out and somebody who is the digger. A lot of y'all be playing the game and at the end of the day, you are the one who is in the most vulnerable state. You are. You are um, allowing somebody into you. You are allowing somebody to dominate you. Talking about we just having fun. We just having a blast. It's not the same thing. Men are sacred. Women are sacred also. Okay. But you see, when men do things, not that they're not, they would not be affected, but they're definitely not going to be affected in the same way that it would affect a woman. And let me tell you why. Because men know how to compartmentalize. Men are very able to do so. You see, women who try to act like men, as much as you want to put up that front in the facade, it's not the same thing. You're not a man. Literally, that entrance is connected directly to your emotions. Literally. And as often as somebody comes and interacts there and stays there and comes there again and interacts there and stays there, you start to chemically develop these feelings, these emotions. And especially if... I have to say if, because a lot of these women don't even know their bodies, if we're going to keep it real. But if you have the ability to hit a certain peak and that person is there in front of you, it is, it is indeed forming this emotional bond with this person. Next thing you know, you start talking about, well, we go together. Well, I don't know why you talk, why you texting other girls because this and that. And as much as you like to think that you're in control because they're just fun for you, you're not in control. You're not. I don't know what has gotten into these women's minds that they really believe that they control the aspect of relationships when they don't. The man does. That's why it's different for him. He can go. And he can be all invested until takeoff. After takeoff, his emotions, his feelings, that door can immediately shut, be closed, stamp closed. He done forgot about what happened. He done forgot about you. He don't remember that he got something else to do. All of a sudden, he out the door. And there's women who I know for a fact are going to challenge me on these things. And they're going to bring up the anomalies of women 
who are able to act as act, act that way as if that's the majority of women when it's not. And y'all rather be mad and talk about, well, no, that's not all women. And, you know, I could do that. I could shut my emotions off. And, you know, we're, it's, just, it's literally the same exact thing. You guys would rather fight to have the right to say that women can do the same exact things that men do, but it's the same things that you complain that men do. Oh, I don't want to be with no man that's cheating on me. I don't want to be with no man that's got multiple women. I don't want to be a man, be with a man who, you know, everybody can have and he has access to everybody. But then you want to fight on the other hand. Oh, women could do it too. Women could do it too. So is it right or wrong? Is it right because women have the ability to do it? Is that the only thing that's going to make it right? Because then that's saying that when men do it, you're fine with it. You just want to be able to do it also. It's nonsensical. Don't make no sense. Women want to be men so bad. Like in this time, women want to be men so bad. They talk about they can't stand men. They, you know, they can't rely on them. They don't need them. They don't want them. They could do bad all by themselves. But you can't stand these people, but you want their exact nature. You coming out of your true nature to step into their exact nature to be just like them, but you can't stand them. Make it make sense to me, because it don't. Because if I can't stand somebody, I don't want to be like them. I don't want to be by them. I don't want to, um, you know, affiliate myself with their actions and doing the things that they do. No. Y'all the opposite. Y'all talk about you can't stand men, you don't need men, and then you you're you are. Everything that they're that that you say that you can't stand about them, you turn yourself into. The difference is it don't work the same. I don't know any woman ever that looked at a man and said, How many people you been with? Ugh, I don't want to be with you. I don't know any. Because out of one mouth, they might say, oh, my God, you're so nasty. But in their mind, they're like, oh, he's experienced. Oh, yeah, he's been around. Oh, yeah, he. Let's be real. There's beauty. So much beauty. And in a woman that everybody can have access to. There's beauty in that. It's special. There's beauty in a woman who knows what being feminine is, who understands when to speak, how to speak, how to carry herself in public, how to carry herself around people. A woman who's so feminine and so in, so in tune with herself that people find comfort just being around you. Not because you support the foolishness. Oh, I love being around you because we get wild. No, that's not the same thing. People who feel safe around you. They feel like you're looking out for their best interest. They feel like you are uh, nurturing, caring. There's beauty in that. These women talking about taking trips with a man, giving their bodies to a man, but giving him a relationship would be way too much. Y'all could keep selling this story, but I'm not buying it. <laughs> I don't know if y'all be coming on the internet to try to convince yourself. Or if you're trying to save face and convince the men that you've been with before. That you really didn't want to be with them when they're the ones who never proposed, uh, you know, that they wanted to be in a relationship with you. That they wanted you to be their girlfriend. That you were actually their, their sneaky link, but you want to make it seem like you're the one who was in control of that. Oh, no, I'm just having fun. You know, he don't want to be with me, but, you know, I'm just having fun. It was it wasn't even like that. He not even boyfriend material, but you can give your body to him. Hmm. You can give your body and your time and your fun and your youth to somebody that you don't even see a future with. Isn't that ironic? 
And then you get into relationships with people who you do find boyfriend material. Once again, I'm not buying it, but let's just say that's true, right? Then you give your body to somebody who's boyfriend material. You get into a relationship with somebody who is boyfriend material, and then you can't figure out why you feel so haunted. Why you in the bed or everything's going fine in the relationship, but every man that walks by, you want to jump on him. Or you want to test it out or you want to see what it's like or you start missing the feeling of, oh, what's it going to be like? It's new. It's this. It's this. It's that. I literally had a, a married woman tell me that. That she, you know, she missed uh, the newness of jumping on somebody new and having somebody new because, you know, she had been in her marriage for a certain period of time. This is a woman who people would have have deemed, you know, respectful and, you know, with somebody who is, you know what I mean? Like they had children together and like people would think like, oh, wow, this person is, you know, a really good woman on the surface. She serves her man. She cooks. She cleans. And because of that, quote unquote, having fun phase. She could ruin a good thing. Think about that. I can't stand the propaganda. <laughs> I can't stand that that young girls are seeing this and, and they think it's cute to be a part of this and they want to be a part of the cool crowd. And so they just say all these cool things about guys and how they're so disposable and all of these things for fun. All of these things that we're talking about can can get women into very uh, dangerous situations based on quote unquote fun, based on following their peers, based on transactions, getting flued out and doing all these things. And oh yeah, I could just exchange my body for that. It's nothing. It's not a big deal. Like there's not things that are incurable that you can really obtain. Because pregnancy at this point, I mean, we already know what these people going to do with that. Depending on where they live. <laughs> it's heartbreaking. And I, I love, I love everything that women are. And I love everything that men are in their true nature. And I say that because it's heartbreaking to see how these younger women or how these modern women are spreading these messages from broken places. And other women are thinking that that's the norm and that's how it should be, not realizing that we're so far away from how we really should be. But I want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Thank you.